Split squat R and T at knee is usually going to be when someone's dipping their knee in like that. So you feed the problem. So put it on the outside. Uh, you might have to flip this direction. So I could be wrong here, but split squat, we're in a split squat position, driving out against that knee. Like I said, you might have the band, you might have to turn the person around. Maybe they're having trouble with their knee going out too far, but we're going to come down, tickle the ground with the backside knee and come back up. We don't want to slam that backside knee in the ground. Just tickle the ground and come back up. If it was the other direction, we would, or a different direction, whatever you're trying to do to get done with that RNT, pull that in. Stay nice and tall, make that knee go straight forward. Okay, that would be the other version of the RNT. So you just gotta decide which one it is. And remember that you feed the problem. So if I, I wouldn't get if someone was diving their knee in like this, you wouldn't give them that exercise. Because if they're diving their knee in like this, they need something to push against to keep that knee out there to make their butt turn on to keep it here. That's an RNT split squat.